up guys welcome back to another video I hope you're all doing well and staying healthy today's video is going to be geared towards the technique of rolling sushi rather than the preparation of all the ingredients and then rolling it I already had some ingredients prepped and I just got my video equipment in and I'm really eager to get some new content out there so that's how that happened however I will be posting a video in the near future on how to prepare all the ingredients for sushi so with that being said let's roll Okay guys, here's our really simple setup. We've got our sushi rice here, along with our cucumber and avocado and crab sticks, as well as our tempura shrimp. So we'll go ahead and get started off with our cali roll and our shrimp tempura roll. The first thing we'll need to do is make sure that we get our hands nice and damp. You don't want them dripping wet, just something like this. And you'll need to do this throughout the entire process of rolling sushi. So we'll go ahead and grab a handful of sushi rice. We'll get that clumped together. Now I'm right-handed, so I like to work from left to right. And you can see on the sheet, there's lines right there. So we'll just place the rice right in the middle. Now with my right hand, I like to form the rice, and then the left hand, I use it to press it down onto the seaweed. So we'll just go in this motion, just like this. Okay, next we'll use our fingertips and our thumb to push the rice up. I use my left hand to kind of guide the rice on the edge of the seaweed. And we'll start from the, make sure to start from the middle and push it up towards the top of the seaweed. And then you can just kind of reshape things as you need. And then for the bottom portion, we'll use our fingertips and just kind of press it down and kind of a, a flattening rolling action, just like this. And then go back and touch up any other sections. Now we'll go ahead and start doing the rice for the shrimp tempura roll. We'll grab another handful of rice and we'll go through this one a little bit quicker. So start in the middle, push it all, to the, to all the way to the end. Push your rice all the way to the top. And then the bottom section, just pull that down with our fingertips. and then just touch up any other sections. Okay, so not all restaurants do this, but uh, I'm going to add white and black sesame seeds on the rice of both rolls. So we'll just add it on there, sprinkle it right on and it should stick just fine. Okay, and the next thing we'll do is we'll just flip over the seaweed. Okay. Next thing we'll do is we'll add some smelt roe. This is uh, called misago in Japanese terms. This is uh, fish eggs from the smelt fish. It gives it uh, a little bit of a uh, nice texture and saltier flavor. So we'll just take our spoon and we'll add some right to the middle of the seaweed and you want to go from end to end. Okay, next we'll start adding our vegetables. Got a nice avocado here. Just place that right down. And I used a half half of a piece just to fill in the gap there. And while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and add uh, the vegetables for the shrimp tempura roll as well. Next, we'll take our crab sticks. And uh, some restaurants, they'll actually split these in half uh, just to be cost effective. But uh, since we're not doing that here, I'm just going to use two crab sticks for one roll. 
And then I like to place my cucumber in front of all the ingredients, just like that. I'll show you uh, why I like to do that in just a minute. We'll go ahead and add our tempura shrimp to the roll as well. Okay, now for the cucumber being in front, um, I like to do that because I use it to push all the ingredients back towards where I'm picking up the seaweed. So you'll see right here, I use my fingertips to push to push the cucumber and all the ingredients back towards the back of the roll. And your hands will get pretty sticky here, so just make sure that you get them wet. You'll want to keep a damp cloth next to you as well. And then with my left hand, I like to use that and apply pressure on the ingredients to hold things in place while I'm folding over the seaweed. Just like that. And once you go all the way through, just roll the whole thing over. And we'll do the same thing for the shrimp tempura roll. Just tuck everything nice and tight, hold everything in place and roll it over. Now you can see there's a lot of rice stuck to the cutting board here. So we're just gonna kind of clean up our work area because things can get messy pretty quick. So you'll just use your damp cloth and just wipe everything off to the side. All right, and the next thing we'll do is we'll take our sushi mat and you can see that it's wrapped in plastic wrap and that's just to ensure that the rice doesn't stick to it whenever we're rolling. So what I like to do is just make sure that the roll is in the middle of the mat. And then I also like to leave one edge on the outside and then we'll go ahead and compress it. You'll you want to use more pressure than you think, but just don't use too much to where you're squishing everything. So make sure that you apply pressure on the sides and the top. And then for the edge that was exposed, what we'll do is use our palm and just push that inwards and make sure everything's formed correctly. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side as well. Sticky rice. All right, now that we have that formed, we'll go ahead and move on to our shrimp tempura roll. And we'll do the same thing. And you can see that I left the tail in and I like to do that just because I think it's a little bit more aesthetic to me on the plate. Um, some restaurants will take that off for you, but I like to leave it on. And sometimes, you know, if you don't feel like using your chopsticks, you can use the tail as kind of a handle piece to pick it up. So we'll get ahead and form it just like the Cali roll. Make sure we form the ends. Now here's our sushi knife. Uh, you don't have to use a sushi knife, but I do recommend you that you at least use a very sharp knife. That'll make sure that you get nice clean cuts in your rolls. So what we'll do is we'll start right in the middle, make a nice clean cut. And while I'm at it, while I go, go ahead and show you how I'm holding my hands. So you can see that I'm using my index, middle finger, and thumb to hold everything in place. So you kind of want to form it in this fashion. But you want to just make sure that your thumb behind the roll is not under the knife whenever you're cutting. Uh, that mistake has happened plenty of times in the past. So just make sure it's not like this under the knife. This will help you keep all your pieces in place. We'll do the same thing on the other side. And then after that, we'll just do halves in all of these other pieces. And 
your hands will get sticky while you're doing this again so just make sure you just give your damp cloth a little tap with your fingertips just to make sure that your rice isn't sticking to it. And then we can use our sushi mat again. Um, as you can see a lot of the rice around it after we cut was kind of misplaced. So we'll use our sushi mat and just make sure that we form everything back again. And there we go. There's our sushi tempura roll. We'll do the same thing for the cali roll. We'll go a little quicker here. So we'll start in the middle, middle, middle. And again, we'll just reshape it, make sure everything's formed correctly. All right, that looks good. All right, now I have my nice sushi plates here. Some restaurants will actually plate it uh, different ways. One way is they'll plate it kind of simply like this. It's a pretty basic way of plating. And then they'll just place it right on the plate, maybe at a diagonal position. But I like to do something a little bit different, uh, just to give it a little bit more uh, aesthetic. All right, and I think I like that. So we'll go ahead and move on to our shrimp to pour roll. Since we have the tails on the end, we want to put those with the tail up, and then we'll just lay down each individual piece like this. And then you could just use your hands and pick up the entire roll and place it on the plate. Or you could just plate it right on the plate. I'm used to doing it like this. Okay, not all restaurants use this, but uh, this is eel sauce or unagi sauce. And uh, I got this from the store, so um, I'm going to put this on our tempura shrimp roll because it goes really well with that. So just go ahead and sauce it. I like to go at a diagonal angle like this. All right, that looks good. All right, and there we go. Here's your shrimp tempura roll and your California roll. Have fun, guys. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. In the next one, we're going to be doing experimental roll, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe with notifications, and let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see me roll in the future. Until next time, peace.